Here's an example of a natural deceleration in the swing. And first of all, I want to give Phil Cheatham credit for this. I saw this video on YouTube and he was sitting in a computer chair. And I think it's a great example of how naturally your lower body wants to decelerate in the golf swing before impact. So what he did is he put a club across his shoulders, took it back and fired forward. If you try this, you're gonna notice that the low body wants to go the opposite direction of the upper body. So when you fire your torso or your arms, your lower body wants to stabilize or decelerate. So there's a few places, obviously, in golf metrics that show this. The chart will show deceleration in the graph before impact, hopefully, where you can see some deceleration in your swing. Also in the animation, we've marked it by showing you where peak speed is on it, as far as like a dotted line. Another place, and that's in the score. You're gonna get marked down drastically if you have trouble decelerating in the golf swing. So some things to think about. If you're working on deceleration, use the drills in the application. But on the other hand, what you can do is put more emphasis on the upper body so the lower body stabilizes. Now this natural thing that happens in the golf swing where a segment above fires and the segment below wants to go the opposite direction or, or stabilize happens at every aspect. So when the pelvis fires, the legs and the feet are gonna wanna stabilize as well. It's called the kinematic sequence. Pay attention to your golf swing, use golf metrics, follow us online at Zero Line Golf, and we'll give you some more tips.